Clouds Parasite is an alternative firmware for clouds. It adds several features and enhancements to the stock firmware provided by Mutable Instruments. Today I will demonstrate an additional mode that turns the whole module into a reverb. I like to call it the Oliverb. To access it, first download the WAV file from the Parasite website linked below, play it to your module as described in the manual. Once this is done, long press on the blind button, then press it again until only the first LED is unlit. This is the dry sound we will be working with. The dry wet control cross fades between the dry sound and the reverberate. The size knob controls the size of the room, from tiny room to a huge hall. The density knob controls the decay or the length of the reverb tail. Past a certain value, the decay is infinite. The reverb even amplifies the sound, which means that it will sustain forever, even if we pull out the output. Whatever the density is at, the freeze knob will mute the input and try to sustain the current uh, sound as long as possible. The position knob sets the length of the pre-delay, which simulates the time that it takes for the sound to first hit the wall. It gives the ear a good sense of distance. If you feed a clock to the trig input, the pre-delay will be synchronized to a multiple or a divisor of this clock, set by the position knob. The texture knob modifies the quality of the reverb tail from a full diffuse uh, texture to a simpler echo-like sound akin to a multi-tap delay. In this case the density knob acts roughly as a feedback control. Optionally, each time the sound hits a wall, it can be pitch shifted by a certain amount of semitones. The pitch knob controls this amount. The longer the decay, the stronger the effect. Here, we can clearly hear the raising pitches. Setting the pitch to 12 to the maximum, which is 12 semitones, we can recreate an approximation of the classic shimmer reverb effect. Note that the size affects the quality of the pitch shifting.
the second blend mode, called Stereo Spread in the manual, controls the color of the reverb. At 12 o'clock, it is bright and neutral. Counterclockwise, it becomes more and more dampened, simulating non-reflecting wall materials like wood. Clockwise, low frequency are more and more discarded, simulating, well, uh, nothing that can be found in nature. The Oliver finally features an internal random modulation section. 12 internal random LFOs uh, that modulate all the internal, internal delay times for weird effects and ghost, ghost notes. The rate of the modulations is controlled by the third blend mode of the feedback in the manual. It has no effect until we increase the amount of modulation, which is controlled by the fourth blend mode called reverb in the manual. At slow rate and high amount of modulation, the Oliver will produce uncommon sustained pitch noise. Let me try to chase them to complete this demonstration. Thank you for watching.